how often do we even pay attention to our body and how we breathe? For any of you who are suffering from COVID long-term um, challenges, not only is it good for your lungs, you need the oxygen to your brain. They study people with high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And there's a study that says um, if they listen to Baroque music, uh, they can lower their blood pressure just by listening to calmer, you know, music from that era. Um, it'll just monitor your breathing for you. You don't have to think so hard. The computer screen actually has these light flashes yeah. that are so imperceptible and that causes you to stare. And when you're concentrating and you're staring, you forget to breathe. Yeah. And so all these EMFs and all the screens that we deal with cause you to hold your breath. If you just tune your body as a musical instrument, you're not necessarily performing, you're just breathing. So the breath is just like gassing up, you know, giving you juice for your vibration to happen. The long-term effects of bronchitis, laryngitis, COVID, anything that challenges your breathing, you got to put the effort to recover it because you don't use it, you lose it. Yeah. And, and so whether for wellness or for illness recovery, especially for illness recovery, I was trying to get one of my private fitness clients to get on board as she's busy. So that's why I made a recording of the workshop. So mm -hmm. if you're able to join the workshop live, then you can ask questions that are personal. But if you can't sign up anyway, so you can get the recording to practice. Right. Yeah. Even if you just practice five minutes in the shower, you know, five minutes when you're walking the dog, all of that adds up. It's your daily practice. Everybody who does yoga knows that when you don't do your stretches and you don't do your your core practice or whatever it is that it is your regular practice, if you don't practice it, it's not going to be there. So, yeah. yes, please, for any of you who are suffering from COVID long term um, challenges, not only is it good for your lungs, you need the oxygen to your brain. So when you're breathing, you're not just oxygenating your lungs, you're, you're helping your heart, your, your, your brain, all the things that might have been affected by COVID or any other illness. And, and also the power of breath to elicit the connection into higher spiritual connections too, right? You know, when you're, when you're doing a breathing practice, I don't know, I'm sure you've had that experience where it kind of opens up that channel for connectivity as well. Absolutely. We go through a body scan to kind of really tune in, you know, are you feeling your feet? Are you feeling all the way through your pelvis, through your gut? You know, some of us have um, apparently about 70% of female bodied people have gut issues and other people are not diagnosed. So IBS, any kind of IBS, or you ate something bad the other day, you're recovering from that, you get disconnected from your stomach. Well, if you're disconnected from your stomach, then you've lost connection to your pelvis and feet, right? So you mm. gotta tune up your whole chakra system from the feet all the way through the pelvis, all the way through the lungs, all the way up to here. So as um, my first choir conductor taught us in uh, college is that, when you're speaking, when you're singing, you're not just doing it from your mouth and your throat, but you're trying to send the noise, the sound up through the top of your whole head that you want mm. your, your, your face, your mask, your cheekbones, your eyebrows to vibrate. So yeah. if you think about it mystically, we are all vibration. So, so the breath is just like gassing up, you know, giving you juice for your vibration to happen. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one, you know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. You speak of uh, like using your breath to kind of like almost like tune your body, right? So what do you mean exactly by that? When, when you're trying to tune your body, you do need to feel your feet. So a lot of us are ungrounded. Tuning your body is everything from sound therapy. You know, okay. all of you who love the sound bowls, I love them too, those crystal sound bowls. The lower notes are for your lower chakras, right? Mm -hmm. And the higher notes are for your higher uh, points of your body. So uh, in sound therapy, they say, 
if you sing a song like Doa Deer and it hits all the notes, you've tuned your spine. Bingo. <laughs> you know? Wow. So my advocacy is to sing in the shower. Don't care if you're out of tune. Don't care if you have roommates or people who are going to laugh at you. Who cares? You're tuning your spine by trying to sing a song. The typical pop songs are just kind of in the middle area and they're okay. in your speaking voice and your throat so, um, kind of throaty. Uh, so don't, don't try to sing like Bailey Eilish. She's got a special voice and people <laughs> to injure themselves trying to sing like their favorite pop star. She's brilliant. But um, what you want to do is just be childlike. Mm -hmm. and be goofy so if you think about it babies when they're first learning to speak go ba -ba 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 -ma 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 -ma. i call it music breath because sometimes we take things too seriously right that if you just tune your body as a musical instrument you're not necessarily performing you're just breathing like a balloon or a bubble or some kind of airy spacious thing so that you get out of all your clunky creaky bones and, yeah. <laughs> and tight neck problems so the simple tai chi exercise uh the master gave us was you're going to breathe in two beats and out two beats and then you progress to threes and fours and i thought ah i'm a singer i could do this Oh boy, I couldn't get past threes. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. So it goes, it sounds a little something like this, if you don't mind my little yeah. uh, allergy noses. Uh, I, you know, I don't have a perfect body. So here I am, uh, imperfect and all. So you sniff. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have an amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.